Hey everybody, I'm Josh. And I'm Rachel. And this time we're gonna take it to our local casino. Ameristar. Yeah, you can see it right behind us. Um, and it's a pretty cool scene around us. We're pretty much up in the mountains in Colorado. We're gonna show you the our room and the steakhouse there. Mm. Timberline, I believe it's called. Yeah, we have not eaten there yet. Or at least I haven't eaten there. Yeah, but we'll show you that here tonight. Um, but stick around, we'll show you. There's also a very cool pool at the very top of that building over there. So we'll show you the hotel, the, the pool. We'll try to get the gym to see if it's open. Yep. Yeah. We'll see, see you there. You in there. This is the uh, casino floor. So there's two levels here. I can actually show you. So across the way, you can see the check-in on the right. And then there's um, machines all the way around. And then down below, machines all the way around. So in the middle is a sports betting. It's run by Barstool Sports. But it's a pretty cool area. Lots of games to play. As you can see here, there's a lot of uh, roulette and blackjack. Craps. You got live craps as well. All right, so this is room 2818. This is a luxury king non-smoking room. You enter. There is a full-length mirror. To your right, you have a bathroom, dual sinks, which is really nice. You do have a big tub. It is not jetted, though. They do have jetted ones here, but not in this room, obviously. But it is nice and big. Um, the shower is really cool. So you got a glass shower at the end of the bed. Um, all the toiletries are on the wall. I'll show you what brand, Essential Elements. Pretty standard shower head. Um, and then over here, you do have a separate toilet. Nothing fancy. Good spot to do your business. All right, over here is your closet. Nothing too exciting, but decent space. All right, over here to your right, this is a king size bed. Um, you've got outlets on the lamps, as you can see back there. Over here by the TV, you actually do have quite a few different things um, in the cabinet underneath. You've got the safe on the left hand side. Then you do have a coffee maker. Moving right. We've got an ice bucket and glasses. And we actually have a fridge, which we're using. And they gave us complimentary waters. So that's really cool. Um, TV is probably pushing close to 50 inches. Um, over here, you've got a nice little area to put your stuff. Nobody's here to do business. This is a gambling town. Um, and then you've got two chairs over here, which is actually pretty nice. A lot of times you only see one chair. And then let's see what our view looks like on this one. So there's two sides to the tower. You either get the mountain view, which is what we ended up getting. Um, nothing too crazy going on over here. Lots of trees, pretty, really pretty spot though. And then on the other side, you have a view of town, which is actually Central City and Black Hawk go together. But otherwise that, it's a pretty standard room. Um, <laughs> and then actually over here, you do have another, you have a clock radio with a bunch of plugins and your phone. But that's the room tour. So we are headed into Timberline Grill tonight. It's a steakhouse here at Ameristar. Not sure what we're looking for, but hopefully some good food. 
I want steak. <laughs> steak sounds good. Yeah, we'll see you in there. See you in there. Guacamole with Alright, so we just got back to our room. We just finished up at Timberline Grill. What'd you think? Um, it's one of those things that I can't decide if it's the company, the atmosphere, the food, or all of it. It made it one of the best meals so far. It, it was, was super fun. It was very, very good. Mm -hmm. Um, I ended up with the Wagyu filet. And you I got... did the New York strip with yep. a baked potato. And then we got the pork belly, pork belly? Yeah, pork belly. We get the pork belly. Um, for appetizer. The pork belly, I mean, it wasn't one of the best pork bellies I've had. Mm -hmm. It came um, on a fried, fried green tomato. tomato was cool with it. Mm -hmm. um, it was a little bit, a little bit more done than I typically would expect. Yeah, I think why, I, okay, so this is gonna sound a little weird, but our friends got the Yep, the crab, crab, like a croquette, basically. <laughs> yes, there you go. Um, yeah. And the, I think that just was so good. Yeah, it, it was like a, the like an belly. amazing crab cake mm -hmm. with a very crisp outer crust. Yes, I agree. So the crab croquette was better. The The pork belly was good. Mm -hmm. It was very good. Um, the steak was great. My steak was cooked perfectly. Yours had a great sear and great seasoning on it. Yeah, the I odd thing complain. is, like, we both actually ordered the same side, which is very rare for us. Right. Um, we both got the loaded baked potato. It was good. Yep. I mean, it was, it a, was a gigantic huge, potato. Huge. We actually have, like, six pounds of potato back in our yeah. fridge right now. It's <laughs> yeah, like. it's huge. Um, the dessert was awesome. It was good. We got this lemon. It was, like, next level kind of dessert. It, I, yeah. I did not expect it to be so fancy. I agree with you. It had this blueberry sorbet next uh -huh. to it and this lemon curd. Oh, so tasty. It was great. Yeah, and we, then we got some dessert cocktails too. Mine was a little strong. I did the black and white Russian and, and I did it was the, delicious. Yeah, orange dream sickle martini. It was really good. It was just really strong. I probably did not need it, but it was good. Who does? Yeah, exactly. Who does? <laughs> um... Anything else you guys say about it? Our wait staff was really good. They were knowledgeable, friendly, kept us refilled. Oh, the thing that we need to tell you if you ever get a chance to go here, the bread, the free bread. There's this dill sour cream roll. It was so good. It was freaking great. <laughs> yeah. uh, the other thing is, so I tried to get the rib cap and mm. the rib cap was not here. Yep. Not so being sadly anymore. I was not able to, so that's why it went with the... The Wagyu filet with um, Oscar style. Mm -hmm. Oh man, there was m way more crab than I ever expected. To Agreed. Be. Uh, Agreed. So it was actually a ton of crab. Mm -hmm. um, I don't even think we finished it all. No. Yeah. So we have steak, potatoes. Oscar style leftover. is great here. Yeah. Um, the steaks were great. There's a great sear, perfectly cooked. Highly recommend. I think it was a great dinner. Good dinner. All Very right. good. See you later. Wilds, which are up to five times right now.
There we go. There we go. Give me another five times. Ooh, 25 times? That's 120 bucks. That's decent, but let's get that middle one. Yeah! Yes! Oh man! That's huge! That's huge! Nugget! Nugget! Yes! Oh my gosh! That's awesome! Four times! Alright, so we are on the ninth floor. I'm gonna show you the fitness center. It is under lock and key. 24 hour access, that's good. So I have a water. Uh, just, I don't know, water dispenser, is that what you call it? Bunch of, bunch of lifting equipment. Really nice. Matrix is the brand. Looks pretty dang good. You can see over here got a view as well where you can do your workout so lots of lifting equipment I think I just got stuck another view outside we are we are about 30 to 45 minutes outside of Denver to the west then you can see Got a, a bunch of treadmills, got the elliptical, a couple different types of bikes. Still, you got that view. That's a funky looking elliptical right there. Some medicine balls, some kind of torture device and some dumbbells. So not a huge space, but actually pretty good, pretty good size and lots, lots to offer. And then of course the great thing is, you know, working out with a view is, is always helpful. All right, we are up on the 34th floor, headed to the pool. You'll see that this is also also locked. Let's use our key. Oh, that's good. Seven a.m. to eleven p.m. Adults only up to nine. And you can see this is. A pretty grand pool. Over here on the right, you've got the mountain view. Same view that we had out of our room. Now I'll take you over here. There is a deck. That is currently locked, but you can see there's chairs out there. There is a hot tub down the way, but apparently that is empty right now. But pretty awesome scene. As you can see right here, this is the hot tub that is outside on the patio. It does go to three feet. It's pretty big and it is handicap accessible. But as you turn around, you can see the pool is starting to fill up and it's nice and big. Over here, you do have a hot tub. You can easily fit uh, probably like 12 plus in it. And then just kind of some plants over here in the corner. Really a cool spot. Really, this is what separates Ameristar from the rest of the hotels here in Blackhawk. I think it's the only one with a pool and they definitely do it right. Hey everybody, thanks for checking out our video of our local casino here. This was in Blackhawk, Colorado. If you're enjoying our videos, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and follow us on our social media platforms. Thank you.